So I guess we're still on uh, seven six actually. You know, I originally had this titled seven five Jordan Canonical form, but seven five some BS chapter that like no one ever covers in this class. So we're actually on seven six, um, and we're still on seven six. And now we gotta find uh, like exponentials of defective matrices. So to start, let's 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 do this easy, easy easy example. Um, Let's say I have A is equal to 44411000, right? And you want to find E to the AT. A wise observer, actually, let's not talk about that one. Let's not talk about that for now. So how do we do this, right? Well, all right, if you work it out, lambda minus 4 cubed is what you get. Uh, and then so lambda is equal to 4 with multiplicity 3. All right, cool. And so now you take lambda is equal to four, and you subtract four from the diagonal, and when you get you get zero one zero 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 one zero zero zero. All right, and you notice something. You notice that the multiplicity is three, the nullity is one. All right, and okay, so that means then uh, here is my Jordan block J, and that means I uh, since J, since this is 3 by 3 anyways, now I just take a 3 by 3 block, and now, uh, multiplicity 3, well, okay, so the 4 goes on the diagonal 3 times, and nullity is 1, so I can only split this guy up into 1 block, right? I have to keep this as 1 Jordan block, and so that means here's a 1, here's a 1, what? Right? Oh, you just, you just... You, you essentially just rewrote the, the same guy down, but okay, so, oh, okay, oh, there's J, right? And, all right, uh, so this is A minus 4I, okay, that's that guy. And now uh, what's A minus 4I squared? Uh, it's this right here, okay? And then A minus 4I cubed is actually the zero matrix. All right. So now what? Well, now I need to find S, right? And so here we put VG, here we put A minus, uh, A minus 4I VG, and then we have A minus 4I squared VG. And what is VG? Well, I'm going to let VG be 0, 0, 1, okay? So let VG equal 0, 0, 1. Then a minus 4i squared times vg. Maybe I should write in red to, uh, you know, keep keep some consistency in what I'm doing. All right, so a minus 4i squared times vg is 1, 0, 0. Okay, so that means a minus 4i squared vg here is 1, 0, 0. And then, you know, a minus 4i vg, uh, 0, 0, 1, is going to be 0, 1, 0. So then this is actually 0, 1, 0, and this is actually 0, 0, 1. Okay, cool. And, I mean, kind of kind of expected that, because A is the same guy as J, and so S kind of has to be that identity matrix, but okay, whatever. Um, cool. So we found S and J. What now? All right. So remember, when we took E to the AT, remember how this went? E to the AT was... S D S inverse. Everyone remember that? Yeah. Okay. And you know, oh, not E to A T. A was equal to S D S inverse. Well, now we have right. So this is diagonalizable, and this is Jordan. So now we have A is equal to S J S inverse. But remember what E to A T was? E to the A T was S E to the D T S inverse. Where you just took the diagonal and you like raised E to it. Well, guess what? A is equal to S e to the J T S inverse, okay? That's the same idea, but how the hell do you raise J T to a power, right? So, we know S, and let's bring down our buddy J. 44411, four, one, one, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah, so, 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 how do we raise J to a power? Well, notice this, right? Notice... Okay, so notice that J is actually equal to 444, four, four, right? Agreed. 
plus one one. Okay. What is four? This is essentially this is a diagonal matrix, right? We can call it D. And this is a matrix. It's actually nil potent, we'll call it N, right? And so why why is it why do we call it N? Well you'll see in a bit. Oh N stands for nil potent, which means uh, we'll talk about what that means in a second. All right. So I've split J up. What? So? Why? Okay. Uh, remember, remember, remember how I was like, oh, you know how E to the AT has this, like, ridiculous power series that no one ever uses except in, like, one certain situation? Well, this is the one situation where we're going to use the power series. Or I'm going to use the power series to explain why explain why this 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 works right so so now this is the same thing as e to the d plus n t right times s inverse but knowing the properties of e that's the same thing as s times e to the d t e to the n t s inverse okay but we know what e to the d t is yeah, we know what e to the dt is. e to the dt is just e to the 4t, e to the 4t, e to the 4t, right? No surprises there. But what the hell is e to the nt, right? What is e to the nt? So now we bring in that power series, that disgusting power series, right? e to the at is actually equal to the identity matrix plus at plus 1 over 2 factorial at squared plus... 1 over 3 factorial AT cubed plus and on and on and on, right? Plus like 1 over K factorial AT to the K plus into off to infinity. Essentially, it's the power series expansion around uh, of E around AT. And so no one remembers this from Math 104 or Calc BC in high school. I even take Calc BC, so I don't, I've don't. i never learned this. I've learned it later, I guess, but, like, you know, I haven't learned it when I took this course. So, no one no one cares for this, but now we have to worry about it. Well, yeah, because because now, right, if, if, if we... Now, e to the nt is equal to i plus nt plus 1 over 2 factorial uh, nt squared plus, you know, 1 over 3 factorial nt cubed plus etc. Okay, uh, so let's let's write this down. i is this, right? We have a 3 by 3, so it's a 3 by 3 matrix. What is nt? nt is 0, t, 0, 0, 0, t, 0, 0, 0, right? So I just took n right here and I multiplied it by t, okay? And now, uh, I need to take uh, 1 half times nt squared. Uh, so that's just, uh, then, that nt squared is like n squared times t squared, right? So it's like 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 squared times t squared. Wait, hold on, this looks, this looks familiar. We've seen this guy before. Where's this guy? Well, it's here. Right? This guy. Right? It's zero. This guy is essentially... This guy, this guy is nt squared. Right? This is nt squared. Or, or this is just n squared, actually. Okay? So, nt squared, then, is then just zero, zero, t squared. Zero, 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 zero. Okay? And what is nt cubed? nt cubed is this, is this guy. This guy is n cubed. Right, this guy is n cubed, right? It's this matrix cubed, but it's zero. So if we multiply it by t, it's still zero. All right, man, Ivan, why are you so excited about this? Well, you can ask me that, you know, when we're when we're in class one day, just like Ivan, why are you so excited all of a sudden? Starting at seven six, why are you so happy? Um, eh. It's actually. It's actually because I have something tomorrow to not look forward to, but it's like I'm looking forward to get it over with. And so, eh, you know, excited for that. Oh, but, you know, we, we forgot something. Uh, we forgot the 1 over 2 factorial on here. And so this is actually just then 
one 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 t t t squared over two, right? So then e to the n t is equal to one 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 t t t squared over two. Okay. And so now we can plug it in here, and we have e to the a t then is equal to s, which is this guy, times uh, e to the dt times e to the nt, which is, so e to the jt is e to the dt times e to the nt, right? So we got to multiply those guys together. Um, that actually, it's not bad. Uh, you, you actually just multiply everything through by e to the 4t. So you just, well, take e to the nt, and now you have e to the 4t, e to the 4t, e to the 4t, right? And now you have t e to the 4t, right? So you're just taking this guy and you're multiplying by e to the 4t, essentially. t e to the 4t. And then you have uh, t squared over 2 e to the 4t times s inverse, which is the identity matrix, and you're done, right? So if you multiply this out, e to the at is just actually equal to this guy right here. So E to the AT is this matrix right here. And this coincidentally is E to the JT. It's a coincidence. Coincidence, E to the AT is not always E to the JT. Okay? Um, but this is how you find J. And, you know, let's do another example real quick. Um, in less detail now uh, than I would have. So let's say uh, A is equal to 3, negative 1, 1, 2, 0, 1, 1, negative 1, 2, all right? Uh, then your characteristic polynomial is negative lambda minus 1 times lambda minus 2 squared equals 0, all right? And then so lambda is equal to 1, comma 2, comma 2. Eh, you know, I've been forgetting my equal zeros on my characteristic polynomials. Eh, not a big deal, but you should probably write them down. And this is like equal 0, you know, all right? Not a, not a big deal again, but you should be writing equals zero. And okay, uh, so lambda equals one two two. Uh, lambda equals one case. Uh, what do I get? You get two negative one one two negative one 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 negative one one. Uh, looks like then zero one one would work. All right, so we'll call this v one. So let's keep a track of uh, this is a j, and so we'll put a one here. And then we'll keep track of S, which is now 0, 1, 1. Okay, and now we take our lambda equals 2. And what do we get? Uh, we get 1, negative 1, 1, 2, negative 2, 1, 1, negative 1, 0. All right, and okay. Uh, so the, 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 the multiplicity is 2, so that means... Uh, in J, I get a 2 by 2 block, right, okay, and then the nullity is equal to 1, so I don't split up this 2 by 2 block, I keep the entire 2 by 2 block because I, because the 2 by 2 block is divided into one section, i.e. the entire 2 by 2 block, right, and so, all right, so that means this is then 2, 2, and this is 1, <coughs> okay, and then, uh, okay, and then, you know, uh, we do the whole square of the sky. Uh, one, uh, so, so you get zero, 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 negative one, one, zero, negative one, one, zero. All right, so this is a minus two i then squared. All right, and then you need to find a vg. Vg, all right. And uh, that doesn't make the top guy zero. So it looks like zero, zero, 001 works. And so then if you take this 0, zero 001, uh, right, this is VG, and this is A minus 2I. And what do you get? Uh, multiply that out, you get 110. So then this guy here, remember, this last, this column corresponds to VG. The last column always corresponds, the last column in a block right in a block or in a smaller block the last column in one of the sub blocks which in this case is the whole block 
always corresponds to a VG. And this guy then is A minus lambda I VG. So in this case, VG was 0, 0, 1 right here. So this is 0, 0, 1. And the A minus lambda I VG is now 1, 1, 0. Okay, cool. So we got S and J. Zero out everything else. And then, all right, so now this is S. So e to, the, uh, e to the AT then is equal to S, E to the JT, S inverse, which is equal to 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, yeah, 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 okay, cool, uh, 1, 1, 0, and then 0, 0, 1, all right. And then E to the JT, what is E to the JT? Well, okay, so the diagonal value, just take it to whatever power it is, so it's just E to the t 1T, all right, so I'm going to write 1 actually, okay, E to the 1T. Right, so now you got this block, right? And so here you got either 2t, either 2t, okay, because your 2's on the diagonal, all right? And then for this guy, uh, this is actually just t, e to the 2t. So you just multiply e to the 2t by t above the diagonal, all right? And yeah, and that's all that is. So now you're done. Uh, so that's s, this is j, uh, or this is e to the jt. Um, whatever the heck S inverse is, too lazy to find it at this point. So that's how you find matrix exponentials of defective matrices. Hopefully this is helpful. Uh, this shortcut that I did at the end, uh, you'll notice that pattern very soon. Uh, you could have noticed it up here with this guy. It's a pattern, it's useful. Uh, just don't forget that, you know, sometimes you have like t squared over two. Um, you also end up with that in a uh, T cubed over sixes and etc. Uh, I'll cover that in recitation more. I don't know if you're recitation instructors. They probably will too. Um, lectures as well. And yeah, so we're done with defective matrices. I think we're done with this chapter. So we're done with chapter seven. This is by far the most important chapter of this textbook uh, because everything from here on out, <laughs> we're just going to be literally the first step to everything, I think. Um, in chapter nine is just find the eigenvalue, find the eigenvectors, now what? Okay, so anyways, this is chapter seven. Chapter eight, we're on to differential equations. Oh, no, there's one more thing I want to cover in chapter seven before we move on, but uh, I'll get to that uh, in the next video, and then we'll get to chapter eight.